In this video, I will show you how you can record your CCTV cameras to your computer and also how you can play back the recordings using your computer. I will be showing you two methods you can use to play back the videos from your computer. You can either use the VMS software to play back your videos and then also I will show you a specific video player that you can use to play back your videos. Here is a setup of four IP cameras that I connected to my computer through this PoE switch and then this router. You can see the footages of the cameras on my computer. In case you want to learn the steps in carrying out this type of setup, I have placed a link to a video I created on how you can do this similar setup that will let you connect your cameras to your computer. So now let's come onto the computer and see how we can do the recordings. I'm using a VMS software and this is the interface. You can get details on VMS in the video link I shared about how you can link your cameras to your computer. So let's go to the settings tab here on the VMS. This dialog box is about the video settings, but our focus is going to be on file path, as you can see here. Video file path here is used to help in directing the camera videos to your desired location where you wish to save your videos on the computer. So when you click this column, you can choose your preferred video save location on your computer. I will save my videos at my desktop. So I will create a folder into which I will place the recordings. I will name the folder CCTV recordings. And then select the folder. You can see the file path picked up here. The next spot here is the file path for still pictures, which also follows the same process I showed earlier on. This one indicates what should happen when your recording drive is full. I will leave it at overwrite and click save. Let's start recording the cameras and see how we can play them back. Camera 1, start recording. Camera 2, camera 3, and camera 4, start recording. So we'll wait for a while to get some recordings. But while we wait, you can take note of the timestamp on the videos so that we can confirm that we have indeed taken up the exact recordings. Let's stop the recordings now. So let's stop camera one. You can see a dialog box here. We will choose save as. And that takes us to where we can save the video. I'll choose the folder we created which is CCTV recordings, and then name our video. I'll call it CCTV recording camera one and save. Let's stop camera two. Choose the folder and name the file. save. We will repeat for camera 3 and camera 4.
Now that we have saved the videos, let's see how we can play them back. So let's start with the VMS playback method. Let's go into the main interface of the VMS by clicking here. You then have to go to File Center. At this point, we'll have to get to Local Files and then Files Directory. We have to put in the location where we have saved our videos. So let's open Directory here and then select CCTV Recordings, which is the folder in which we have saved our videos. And then select the folder. So you can see our camera recordings here. To play the videos, you just have to double click the video you wish to play. So let's try camera four. Apart from using the VMS to play back the cameras, you can also use this video player called Port Player. I have placed the link to where you can find this player in the description of this video. But just like any other media player plays files, the same process applies. So let's open the recordings folder. Here are the camera recordings. We'll right click on the video, open with port player. You can see that camera one recording has started playing. You can forward it, you can pause it, and any other thing you wish to do to the video, just as you use or you'll do when you are using any other media player. Camera two, three, and four have also been automatically loaded. You can choose to play any of them at will. That's all I have for you in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching.